Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is the Warrior Goddess speaking. I have a PhD in political science and today I, I'm going to try to deconstruct a concept. This is what we do in academia. We always discuss what concepts and words really mean. Um, this is important for being able to um, know what we're talking about. So today I was thinking that I should, I wanted to try to understand the the concept of one night stands. So the question is: Have you ever, um, yes, have you ever pondered what words really mean? If you think about the word one night stand. Um, uh, which criteria needs to be present for there for a one night stand to have occurred? So let's say, for example, you talk to a person over a period of time, and then, like uh, superficially, uh, maybe on the internet, or you know, you don't really know the person that well, and then uh, one day at the concert, um, you let's say you take him or her to your hotel. And let's say more than kissing occurred at the hotel. And uh, then after that, maybe you saw the person one more time. You had dinner one more time. And does that qualify as a one night stand? So you can, you can say yes or no, but you know, let's say, let's say no, because Let's say it's a criteria for a one night stand to have happened that um, you cannot talk to the person before or after the one night stand actually takes place. So that's there. So that episode is ruled out then. Okay. So um, let's say also that um, you know. Um, sex has to occur during the on one night stand unless if sex didn't occur then it's not a one night stand but then you have to qualify sex what does sex mean in this uh, then you know um, to make it simple let's say that intercourse has to have occurred for there to have been a one night stand so criteria two is intercourse has to have occurred for there to have been a one night stand so now we have two criteria. The one the criteria one is you cannot have been talking to the person before or after the one night the occurrence, um, and also when you meet the person, uh, intercourse has to have happened. So let's say um, this means also the third criterion is that you have to meet the person and have intercourse that same night for the for, for it to qualify to be uh, a one night stand. So if you think about this, this drastically uh, actually reduces the number of one night stands that you've actually had in your life. But then you can always broaden the concept and you can kind of include, uh, all, you can, you can uh, change the criteria. And if you change the criteria, then the number of one night stands will increase. So this is uh, actually, what, whatever concept or word you're discussing, uh, if you wanted to count the number of something, uh, how frequently uh, does harass harassment take place? How frequently um, have uh, you know? Uh, well, I, I don't. I can't come up with something right now. But you know, if you want to count something, if you want to do research, for example, if you want to provide evidence of something, you always start with a definition. So, um, yes. So what's the question? The, the thing is, you can do this with any word or concept. So discuss what it means and what the criteria are. So, my, uh, so therefore, I invite you to. Um, you could always dis uh, continue discussing this concept, but maybe there are other concepts that would be interesting to discuss. So I uh, invite you to suggest a concept or word that you're interested in that uh, I could try to de deconstruct. So. Please do that and just write in the comment section below. And if you think this is fun, um, deconstructing words and concepts, please subscribe to my channel because, um, yeah, I'd like to do this more. I think it's fun. Thanks. <laughs>